the Iraqi forces against ISIL, humanitarian assistance for the innocent civilians of Iraq and Syria who are suffering so terribly under ISIL's reign of horror. I want to thank Vice President Biden, Secretaries Kerry and Hagel, and General Marty Dempsey for their leadership in advancing our strategy. Uh, even as we meet this challenge in Iraq and Syria, we all agree that one of our weapons against terrorists like ISIL, a critical part of our strategy, is the values we live here at home. One of the best antidotes to the hateful ideologies that try to recruit and radicalize people to violent extremism is our own example as diverse and tolerant societies that welcome the contributions of all people, including people of all faiths. The resolution we've submitted today does not call for the deployment of U.S. ground combat forces to Iraq or Syria. It is not the authorization of another ground war, like Afghanistan or Iraq. The 2,600 American troops in Iraq today largely serve